Next up, let's talk about agents within M365 Copilot. And this is a feature that's only available within the 365 Copilot version. The free version as of today does not have it. And I find it super powerful, super interesting. So first of all, what is an agent? You can think of an agent as an independent AI system that is tailored to perform a certain task and it is really good at it. So you have different kinds of agents like an expert researcher, a career coach, a prompt coach. Because the way that I like to think of this general version of Copilot over here is that it is a jack of all trades. It knows everything, but it is not a master of anything. So what I'll go ahead and do now is take you to the admin portal and show you this section on agents and connectors. And these are the different versions of the different agents which are available to an administrator. And the administrator has the capability of deploying them to your organization and making them accessible to either all users, specific users or block it completely from your organization. So these agents are available over here and these are kind of included with your M365 subscription. I will take a look at maybe a few of them like Presentations AI, you have an Idea Coach, you have Slides GPT to generate PPT with AI, you have ArcGIS for Teams as well as a lot more agents over here. The one that we are going to focus on today is my personal favorite because I really love data and analysis and that agent is known as an analyst. And this analyst agent that we have over here, this specializes in data analysis, understanding the data and then helping with all questions related to data. So you can see that there are a lot of uh, questions over here that have been pre-created by Microsoft so that you can get started with using the agent over here called Analyst. We also have view prompts right over here, which are prompts that have been curated by Microsoft and you can use it to either analyze your data, get insights from your data and even visualize it. So let's actually go ahead and link our first file. And the file that I'm going to link right now is known as orders over here. And then I'm going to hit space. And then I'm going to say, uh, what are the trends you see in uploaded files? Basically just click this over here and it actually ended up removing my attachment. So I will attach it again and say orders. So in this prompt, now I am giving Copilot a little bit of more context that first, this is my query. This is the file that I want you to work on and then I will just hit send. And now the analyst agent has taken my data set in and as the expert analyst for data that it is, it will now generate all the insights and show me that if there are any correlations, then you can see the reasoning has already started. First, it is inspecting the file contents and this is showing how the agent is basically thinking. It is considering how to approach inspecting this file then it is planning the analysis steps like loading the Excel file into a pandas data frame, exploring the columns, computing the correlation matrix, and then finally visualizing it with a heat map using Seaborn and matplotlib, which are maybe the most famous libraries for visualization in Python. Then it is coding and executing. And you can see that this is the prelim Python code that it has written. And this is the data that it is working with. Then it is evaluating the variable correlations to identify numeric variables for correlation analysis and then plotting the correlation matrix finally with the help of a heat map. Then it is analyzing the trends and if there is any correlation between factors like profit, sales, discount. Finally, it has started writing the full code over here and seems like it has encountered a couple of errors, but let's see if it is able to run to completion. It is then filtering the numeric data, computing the correlations again, and then again coding. And after it has done all of this back and forth, trying to understand the data, it reasoned for a good 84 seconds over here and has finally given me key trends first. Sales show clear seasonal fluctuations with the peaks for my business typically occurring in November and December. I also did not know that, so that is unreal likely due to holiday shopping and year-end procurement. Category dominance, 
Office supplies is the category that dominates the data set in terms of volume, indicating a strong focus or demand in that segment. So this is the segment that I should keep focusing on and not let it go. Correlation between the variables, sales versus shipping cost has a strong positive correlation. Discount versus profit has a moderate one. Sales versus profit again has a moderate one. Profit versus quantity mild positive correlation and then finally it has generated a couple of visualizations to show me the monthly sales trend you can see this over here the correlation heat map has also been generated for me to show me the correlation between the different variables that i have within my data set and you can ask it to now perform a deeper dive into specific categories regions or even customer segments so you can see how detailed this can get and this is much much deeper than what the regular copilot chat will go into and you can see how it basically reasoned for 84 seconds and then planned its steps had a little bit of a back and forth and then generated a proper insight for you this one actually is much more detailed than the one that we looked at earlier if you remember in the previous lecture as well you can break down the correlations by region ask it to generate maybe some kind of an ml model and try to fit that on top of your data for predictions so i'll basically ask it can you predict my sales for the next six months and let's see if it is able to do that now the analyst agent once again will go ahead and reason it has already started the coding and execution inspecting the file structure it will once again inspect it a lot of back and forth will go on just like a regular human would but this time around you can think of having an expert data analyst sitting with you to help you and aid you in your day-to-day -day tasks and that is why agents are my favorite addition to m365 copilot because these are much much more powerful than what the regular chat would give you and this does not stray at all from what goal you give it finally let's see what it generates this time around so the final response has now been compiled and based on this here is the forecast that it has generated for the next six months and my data set actually ended in 2014 itself so for jan 2015 to june 2015 this is the sales in canadian dollars that it has basically generated and it has also given me such a nice graph wherein it's showing me the historical sales which are the actuals and these are the forecast sales for the next six months in a dotted fashion and it's a nice visual distinction as well by using two completely separate colors as well and the model that was used for this was exponential smoothing with monthly seasonality which is well suited for capturing trends and seasonal patterns in time series data to do something like this, first of all, you would need all of this knowledge, starting with Python, then maybe statistics, then the machine learning models as well, as well as understanding what exponential smoothing even is. I'm not saying that the need goes away, but just see the power of AI in action and how much this is going to assist us in the time to come. I hope that this was helpful. You can go ahead and if this has been enabled within your organization, I highly recommend trying out the analyst agent. And this was just the beginning. The analyst agent can actually do a lot more. As we can see over here, you can ask it to give you insights, visualize, analyze data, and maybe even discover trends that you may not have seen earlier within your data set.